Hello everyone. I'm in the old little shed here and I am working on a new box trap for squirrels or anything else. Uh, this is inspired by a gentleman on YouTube named John Wooding. John Wooding has a video on this particular style of trap and what was attractive to me about it was all of the inner workings of the trap are inside so you have smooth sides you don't have any kind of a teeter-totter type of a trigger and um, so I am getting it cobbled together it's going to have a treadle here it'll be kicked up and then when it goes down there's a door here when the treadle goes down, the door will go down. See that door right there? We got the door, got a little treadle, a little pedal for the animal to step on. Step on that and it goes down. Let me continue to work on this and I'll show you the finished product sometime in the near future. Voila, I have finished the trap and the more that I uh, look at it, the more I appreciate just how versatile the design is because really, if you look here, the trigger is a single piece of wire and you reach in, like you can see that, you reach in and you pull this wire and you just set it, rest it gently on the top of the trap door and then when, uh, ooh, I need a stick. The animal goes in here. You can see the uh, little trap door right there. This is the treadle. So that it's a single, a single wire is the trigger. So it's infinitely adjustable. I can adjust the, uh, see how it goes right up to there? So the squirrel or whatever comes in here and it steps on this. And this comes down and locks them in nice and secure. I've made the uh, lid, we'll see how this holds up, but it's uh, plumber's mesh, so hopefully it'll be strong enough to keep the uh, keep squirrels and stuff in. If it isn't, I'll just replace it. And then right here, I put a plexiglass, so they're going to think this is an open area here, so they'll feel safe about going in. Yeah, I'm here in my room, wasting time on the computer, and right out that window, is where I set the traps and I just had a squirrel come to the original box trap that I made and of course they had already taken the uh, bait off of the trigger so the squirrel went in there and looked and saw there was a so I ran and grabbed this new trap that I just made and I set it right out there next to the old trap hoping that because the squirrels have identified that as an area where there's food that it'll come right back so we'll wait here for a few minutes and I will uh, watch the traps as I'm browsing the internet. And if the squirrel comes up, I will show you what it, whether it works or not. I have the camera all set up and ready to go. Now we're just waiting for a squirrel. You can see my original box trap that I made a couple of years ago on the top of the table. And just beneath it is the new trap with all of the workings for the trigger on the inside so it doesn't have that big teeter-totter on the top and it uses a treadle which is a plate on the floor in order to trigger the trap whereas the one on the top the bait is actually affixed to a trigger stick and as the squirrel manipulates the stick trying to get the bait off it trips the trap so I'm hoping that this pressure plate on the floor will be just as effective or maybe even more effective. It's raining a little bit and the squirrel that was there went up in that camper tree that's just to the right of these. So we'll wait and see if he returns and if he goes in there. We've got a peanut right there on the front to entice him. We have a squirrel. Let's go take a look at this. The new trap has proven to be effective. we have here. You got us a little squirrel. 
So it looks like the wire is holding up. I wouldn't let it hold up for too long. And uh, I can see that the squirrel has chewed on the top. Because there is... have to go let this guy go real quick because he's very frantic. But there he is. The new trap has worked. We have a squirrel. pleased with the trap's performance. Well, I'm happy to report that the trap was a big success. I got my first squirrel in it, as you saw. And uh, the ease of setting it is just amazing. So I'm gonna reset it really quick and I'm gonna show you how I reset it. Very pleased with this trap. So I'm gonna take a couple of, uh, a couple of peanuts. I'm just gonna toss them to the back right up against that plexiglass. And then the way you set it is, you, you put your hand into the trap and you flip the door open. And you just take this little wire and it's set. The wire is just sticking by friction right on the upper edge of the trap door. And when that trap door goes down, it seals to the floor and uh, the squirrel is a trap. We'll just set it on a hair trigger and put it back down. And we'll wait for the next squirrel to come by. Yes! <laughs>